Welcome to session three, which is all about life at the college. Let's start with you then, Harvey. What does a normal day stroke week look like? Well, a normal day is um, I normally wake up about seven in the morning and then I have to get um, buses or sometimes I can get lifts as well. But um, I would get, normally have to get about two buses to come to college. And where are you travelling from? Um, I live in Machen. All right, yeah. So it's um, a little while away, <laughs> but it's not yeah. too bad. Um, but yeah, I come from there and then... Um, yeah, I come to college. I normally grab myself a coffee in the morning just nice. to wake myself up a bit. Yeah, we so all I'm need that. i tired, yeah. It's a stressful. And, um, all the bus rides and everything. No, it's pretty chill. I normally just listen to music on the way and it just mm. relaxes me and ready for the day. Um, but yeah, I grab my coffee and then um, I head into lesson as well. Um, my tutor, um, luckily, he's quite relaxed. Like once you get given the brief for a project, you normally work about like two months on a project. So you have, um, you're have you basically just sent off and you can relax and get into whatever you need to do. And it's... Um, yeah, it's a pretty chill day. You have your breaks as well, obviously, because mm. I'm um, staring at a computer screen for hours at a time. You do need to uh, get some fresh air yeah. every now and again, um, even though you can't get carried away. Is uh, It is good to have breaks. And, and are there lessons? And, um, you, do you have like a timetable for the week? Um, yeah, so my lessons are normally in on Tuesdays and... Um, not Tuesdays, sorry. I'm normally in on Mondays and Fridays. Yeah. Um, so throughout the week... Um, I'm literally free. So that gives me enough time to work on my projects as well. And where would you do um, that project then? You'd be shooting or you'd be editing at home? Uh, editing at home or filming. You've got to yeah. use the time to your, yeah. like like I was saying earlier, you know, you've got to keep um, a schedule. So you're very, you treat it as an adult, so it's good. So you've know, you know, you got to manage your time. Yeah, that's good. And um, yeah. yeah, it's good. Whereas if you're doing school A-levels or yeah, it'd be a lot more school courses, you have, to go, yeah. you have to go to school, don't you? And stick yeah. to a timetable. So yeah, you get that so, little bit um, of freedom. Yeah, you get that freedom, but you got to manage your freedom yeah. correctly. Manage your time. So, um, yeah, because if you don't, then you're going to fall behind. And as you said earlier, in the creative industries, it's all about timekeeping. The time, yeah, Managing. literally, yeah. Time Morgan, what about a day, stroke, week? What does it look like for you? Well, Monday we have service uh, till 8, half 8, What's that? What service? What do you mean? Uh, food service. In food. the restaurant? Yeah. Uh, Tuesdays, theory work. We have a day off on Wednesday. Thursday, back for service. And Friday, just... Pre- preparation for Monday. Yeah. So it's, it's we've got everything in order. It's all checked off. We we know what we need and what needs done. We read we read everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's it's a lot to do, but we manage. And if you'd like the course as much as I do, you you'd fly through it. Mm. You enjoy it so much. You want to go back again and redo the course. Even if you've passed it, you'd want to go further. You want to be better. You just, you just want to be better than everyone else. You want to prove to other people that you yourself are capable of doing this. You're capable of doing that. You can, like, thrive, thrive in life, thrive in your jobs, thrive in your career. You can. There's a lot to do. Like life is. Thinking about leaving college and work is scary, like bills, taxes, rent, your cars. It's, it's going to be a lot of money, it's a lot of work. So it's better to get your head around what you want to do, pick a course out, get your diploma, get a qualification, and then bam, done. You, you know what you want to do. And then you've got other things that can help you through life with bills and things like that. People who struggle with taxes, it just it'll help it'll help with something you enjoy doing it, it all helps especially it's with the cost of living at the moment and yeah. prices mm. going up mm, especially yeah. for food yeah talking to you about food prices what about you Max? well uh, I would say I, I usually wake up at about 6.30 uh, it's one bus one bus ride uh, half an hour usually uh, straight to the college pretty much no, no messing about straight and to where the are college. you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from Ponty. Right, okay. Yeah. So uh, it's about a half hour ride or so. Uh, I arrive. Um, they have plenty of, of, of like, uh, you, you can get plenty of coffee around here. So I usually get my coffee here. Yeah. Um, and usually it's like an hour then until the lessons start. So um, the, the the good thing is that the college opens quite early. So you have the opportunity if you like to just kind of sit in and, and kind of relax until the lessons start, which is what I like to do. Nice. So um, then you go up into class. Um, I'm only in two days a week. Um, so you go up to class, uh, you know, you get on with your assignment work or the tutor introduces a new assignment to you. And um, yeah, um, you do your thing. And uh, they, they give you regular breaks in between, not necessarily just a lunch break. They give you um, usually two 20-minute 
um, long breaks in the morning and in the afternoon, and then a lunchtime break in between, which is like an hour. So you you, you have plenty of opportunities to just kind of get up and, and better go than elsewhere. constantly doing the same thing over yeah. and over and over. It, it's nice to yeah. have a little re relaxing time. Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. a, lo a lot of people in there again are doing the like programming work, and you can't like if you've done programming, you can't just do it for like seven hours straight. You have to wait. Yeah, <laughs> you have to you, give it time. Yeah, it's yeah, it gets it, stressful. It, 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 it's, it's a headache sometimes. Like a long day of yeah. college for me. I can't, I, I can't cook food when I go home. It's like what time do you finish then, guys? Is it three? Uh, three nine. Three thirty. Nine o'clock in the nine night. Nine in the night. Do you On start at nine in the morning? Um, we got nine in the morning, which is our tutorial, which is get ahead. It's a long day. Three. Then I got maths because I, re I decided to retake maths. Uh, try to get better than a C. Hopefully, I'll find out in August now. Mm. Oh, good luck. And uh, then we start service around two o'clock, and then half five people start coming in. Yeah, it's a long day then for you, isn't it? It when depends how busy it gets yeah. because we leave earlier depending on how many people are there, if people are still eating, if people are still mm -hmm. waiting for their food. But it's really good. It's really good. I enjoy it. But I can't go home and cook myself food after. I was like, Mom, can you make me some? <laughs> yeah. I have too much, too much food around me today. Uh, talking of top tips, if you've eaten at the canteen on site, what's your top recommendation you would give to a future? Southern owner? fried chicken wrap with onions. I, don't, I didn't even finish the question. He was straight in there, wasn't he? <laughs> Where's that yeah. from? Is that from the canteen, the canteen in your college? In the Romba, yeah. It, is it good? Uh, I love the southern fried chicken, don't oh, I? I do. Lovely. It's really nice. They do make nice bacon as well. Mm. And the sausage is quite nice. Yeah, for breakfast. Yeah. yeah right. I do have a breakfast wrap sometimes and then get a southern fried chicken one. Okay, so the catering's good then on side. Do you eat here as well, Harvey? Um, I haven't eaten in college particularly, no. Okay. But um, I hear it's good. Okay, from, coffee, from friends. You like the coffee? Coffee is very nice. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. coffee. Coffee and muffins. <laughs> uh, what about you, the Max? Um, there's 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 two that jump out to me. Uh, there's cheese and bacon turnover pastry they got here. That's oh, it's, oh, better yeah, it's better than a Jenkins. It's better than a Greg's, isn't it? All right, yeah, <laughs> much better. <laughs> um, apart from that, they have these shaker salad things: the chicken and bacon pasta shaker salad. That's all right. Uh, that's, that's all right. That is okay. Okay, that's the food recommendation. What about just the general top tip? General top tip. Pick a course that you like, because if, if you don't, it's it'll tough. Be, it'll, yeah. Yeah. it'll be hard. It will be hard on you. Um, because, I mean, it, it, it's going to be hard anyway. But it, it, if it's something that you're not interested in, you it's going it, to be harder. It's going to be harder. stressful. Yeah. And, but, and yeah. of course, it, you could be in a situation where you pick a course and then you realize it's not for you. But if you're quick enough, you are able to kind of... Um, Tr start tra over. transfer you're able to transfer yourself but the yeah. only thing with transferring that's as you said you pick a course you like make sure you like the course because the only problem with transferring you have to think of everything you've missed out on and try to catch up that's oh. why you have to be quick with it see and it's, yeah, it's, mm, yeah. you have to pick a course you like you yeah. have to so you're going for that as well top tip so you two going for that pick I, a course uh, yeah, you like okay um i'm gonna say be open-minded yeah because at the end of the day you're not really sure like you're not going to be 100% where you're getting yourself into. So you've got to think in, in the sense of, yeah, just be open-minded and just see what opportunities you can actually get out of it. And like, I'm agree with these two guys. You've got to know what you want to do because you, you can find yourself stuck in a situation where if you have ch chosen the wrong course and it's not for you, um, you like you said, you're going to have to, it's going to be difficult. But, um, Think outside the box, I, but not yeah. too far out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Good advice. Just, yeah. Just yeah. see what's available and then to choose from. I do have a few. I do have another tip, actually, to be fair. Mm. Um, any opportunity that you see, take it and learn how to do it later. Honest. Because there's been so many opportunities that I've had, right? I, en I was initially going to go for the level one. I was recommended to go to the level two of my course. Then a week later, I was asked if I wanted to go to level three, and I said no. But then I went home, thought about it. Then I went to level three, best decision I made. And mm. not only that, but there's so many like other side things you can do. Like you, I've done a, a, you know, a health and safety course. I've done a peer mentoring course. Like these, these, these are side courses that you can do for free here. And yeah. you, know, you know, a lot of people just don't do it because like you the know, skills they, you've got, literacy, uh, literacy yeah. and things like that. You get the skills just, to do the EST. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely go for it. You know, do it. Well, I, I was thinking of not going to level two. I wanted to work after level one. And then I thought, you know, I'll go to level two. Yeah. And then I thought I'd work after level two. 
and now there's me. I'm going to level three, and mm. I'm in, I'm going to Barcelona next year. Like wow, yeah, yeah. So it's, there's it's, any opportunity, and I got a competition. It's <laughs> like whoa, like it's 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 pressure, but like there's loads of experiences. Just any opportunity you see, just take it. Yeah. Honest, because yeah. volunteer it, for everything, do open events, never live in regret. That, that's my my tip. Yeah, you know, it's a great tip. Fantastic, and also all those things that you said you did there. You can add on your CV, and then when yeah. an employer sees that and compares exactly, that yeah. to someone else who hasn't got that on their CV, who's going to get the job? That's not necessarily well, something I mean? that has to relate to your course. No, of course, absolutely. You know, yeah. health and safety is paramount everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. So you have to do it for the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to do it for computers. You have to do it. For you have to do it if he's out on a shoot. Oh, you have to do health and safety to make sure no one gets injured. He has to make sure he's got a bottle of water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite right. Good top tips, guys. Thank you.